No, it's good looking TARDIS, isn't it? Yes. Ah. It, how many TARDISes are there? I think there's two, but we're, uh, uh, it, it, it gets flat packed, you see. So it, 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 it's... It's an Ikea TARDIS. It kind of is. Yeah, so it's always a bit of a shambolic manoeuvre, putting it up and opening the door, and there's, there's usually three or four burly blokes at the back propping it up. <laughs> Um, and the door doesn't shut, but it looks very sturdy on television, obviously. Yeah, I remember there was a Doctor Who experience at Longleat. Well, right, yeah. Years ago, and I remember the huge disappointment of going into the TARDIS and discovering it was a box. <laughs> <laughs> You've not been inside the right one, Graham. Oh, no. <laughs> you come to Cardiff, I'll show you my box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Review in this, it's hard to. <laughs> uh, let's have some animal news, shall we? Let's. Actually, I say animal news, it's more exciting than that for you because you're a Skoda driver, aren't you? I am a Skoda driver, yeah. Out and proud. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a Skoda, a Skoda was traveling along at 70 miles an hour and it was hit by a goose weighing two stone, which smashed right through the windscreen. Wow. It's an extraordinary story a Skoda traveling at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Driver, driver Tony Deacon told the son, uh, the one minute I was chatting and the next I saw this huge bird bearing down on me. <laughs> like Peter Andre on his wedding night. <laughs> now, animal lovers, animal lovers, I know, I know you're all thinking, all very well and funny, but was the goose okay? Well, let's just have a look. <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, one final bit of animal news. At a zoo in Thailand, Chang Chang, the panda bear, is being shown porn films to encourage him to mate. Now, the plots of these porn films are really unconvincing. I mean, I can't believe a panda would turn up to fix someone's washing machine. You know what I mean? <laughs> Here is Chang Chang. Now... <laughs> he does look exhausted, doesn't he? <laughs> I wonder what it's been doing to make him that tired. <laughs> I love that lady panda. She's like, Jesus Christ! He only eats bamboos! How, to, how do you know that's the lady panda? <laughs> that's why they don't have babies. <laughs> we don't know for sure. But that, that has a mannish look to it. <laughs> <laughs> I could watch that for a long time. Um, uh, speaking of comic relief... Um, <laughs> no, because now, both of you were uh, very involved in comic relief this year. Uh, you uh, did The Apprentice. I did, indeed. Now, on the inside... Mm. Uh, I mean, because it was sort of shocking, really, because you've got the old comic relief, The Apprentice, this will be funny. But Trini Woodall, hoo hoo. I mean, <laughs> was she not? Yes, yeah, so on a couple of occasions I had to get her down on the ground and give her a forced injection for <laughs> the safety of all the teams. <laughs> did you have to do much? Fuck all. <laughs> Yes, no, I did a lot. No, I did loads. Well, what happened was, it, it was basically, it was, a, it was a race to see who could make the most money, really. So Trini knows everyone in Belgravia who earns over 10 million a year. So she just basically got on the phone and the rest of us went to the pub. It was brilliant. <laughs> and you won. And we won by absolutely loads, actually. Was that all down to Trini, just... I think it pretty much was. Although Maureen and I did try prostituting ourselves around King's Cross. <laughs> <laughs> I got 50p and Maureen got 75. <laughs> uh, that didn't work very well. But no, it was really good fun, actually. And you, uh, you did the, the Catherine Tate sketch. I did. But then you were in uh, the fantastic video, the Proclaimers video. I was. And of course, the Proclaimers are going to be playing for us in a few moments. Oh. They're here, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. The Proclaimers are in the building. Yes. <laughs> that, that was it. Was it all filmed in one day? No. That video? And I, I, I got a phone call. It was, Matt Lucas called me up and said, first of all, and said, I'm going to do this thing. He knew I'm a big Proclaimers fan. He said, Oh, come along, join in. I said, Of course I will. I get to meet the Proclaimers. They'd been and gone when I turned up. They'd filmed their bit, and I'm just stuck with. 
Johnny Ball and Rod Jane and Freddy up the back. <laughs> Dusty Ben. Not there's anything wrong with them. You're lovely people, especially Dusty Ben. But um, it was, I, I was devastated. So to find that I, tonight I might actually get to meet the Proclaimers, I, I'm, I'm a little bit overexcited. I had to break it. We did tape them in the afternoon. They're not here. <laughs> I wouldn't have a sense of humour about that. <laughs> no, they are here. They are here. Don't worry. No, seriously, they are here. Um, now, uh, <laughs> Actually, I... Ah, I have a message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure it's going to be a relationship. Hmm, <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> Oh, he sounds nice. <laughs> Shall I just take that and call him back? <laughs> His text read, stop wasting my time, wanker. <laughs> Should we call him up? Do if you want to. I'm not going to talk to him. <laughs> what's, his, uh, what's his name? Wanker. Derek! <laughs> Can I do sign language? <laughs> Yet. Uh, that, that's for me. David's very keen. <laughs> Derek, it's the doctor. You had your chance, you blew it. <laughs> well you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. The, 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 the sound I hear, I believe, I believe, could it be a TARDIS? <laughs>
if you can come in if you want to. <laughs> oh, there now, it oh. happened. <laughs> uh, this is our cool down, we just gotta hang on. By the way, Alex, we will get you a taxi. Brilliant. <laughs> Seriously, we'll go melts. Are you back at number one? Yes, well, we're, we've never beaten the number one in this country, so this is the first time, yeah. Well, where have you been number one? Uh, Australia, New Zealand and Iceland. Iceland, you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Iceland, really. But this is pretty good. So this has come out and now you're, you're, going to, you're starting a tour and you've got... Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, I mean, we've been... We've done a lot of work in the last few years. We've, we've done a lot of live work in uh, studio albums, but we're back over the summer doing the festivals and then in the autumn a big UK and Irish tour and then Europe and Australia and America. So. And in the, in the comic relief video, so what happened? So to who phoned you? Peter Kay phoned our manager and just told us his idea for it and we said yes. Uh, well, that, yes, and we're very glad you did. Uh, now, obviously you got to meet Matt Lucas and Peter Kay yeah. and Deborah Williams. Who, uh, who are the rest of the people did you actually meet? Didn't meet any of them. The boys here in the band, they got to stay by, they met Dusty Ben. And Lord Luca. And Surely, if you met Dusty Bin, you, yeah. you met David Tennant. Oh, yeah, Lord Luca. We all met. And you know, a lot of people, we, we, we were the, away the second day, we had to go and watch, so we didn't meet David. So, I was what, what was the atmosphere like in the thing? Because it was an odd collection of people. Did you know who everyone was? I didn't really know what I was turning up for, if I'm honest. <laughs> and I, it was an interesting collection of people. Yes. With a variety of personalities. Yes. Some of them are lovely. Yes. Someone, <laughs> someone described it to me as, and wait till you see the audience, it's full of, and then they described the people in the audience, and then they went, and David Tennant. <laughs> <laughs> so you came out of it well. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> that was good. And, and, and it's still in the shops now, and it's, hopefully you'll be number one sure. for a few weeks yeah. now. Yes, well, it's, it's uh, been a, a very big hit so far, and it's still selling very well, yeah. And you know when you're singing it, because you, I mean, you must have sung it a gazillion times. Yeah. Do you ever have a moment where you go, shit, have I sung this bit of it already, yeah. or...? Yeah, you do. I was wondering just before we came on there that that's what I was going to do. You should, if you think you're going to forget it, then you forget you it. Do. Have you, you actually... Have you, have you forgotten you it? Do. Yeah, yeah, but the, the, the words, you know, the, the, the kind of good words, they fit to the tune, but they're not that complicated, you know? It's not like it's <laughs> <laughs> lyrical have thing, you so you, it's not just, Chaucer. Have you ever no. had to, like, make an, up the words, because you forgot, yeah. like, and I went yeah, down the shops much. today... <laughs> We had a guitar player who used to change the words when he was doing the backing vocals, and there was there was various permutations of da da da, da none of which were da da da. da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people have people have had creative use of it over the years, yeah. and it? Peter Kay's just the latest in the long line, you know. God, well, it's fantastic. I'm so pleased Thank for you. you. It's brilliant. Thank you. Uh, the proclaimers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Joe, you have a tour starting next Sunday, is it? It is. Next Sunday in, in Scotland? In Scotland. It's very Scottish, all yes, of this. Yes, it is very yeah. Scottish. Yes, we, it's as if we planned it. And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and you're just... But it's just the north, the, the tour. Well, it's, it's seven Scottish dates and two northern English dates. So pr can you please come, all of you lot, because you're very good at laughing and you're quite attractive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't sold any tickets. <laughs> You bought one, so that's one <laughs> ticket. And I got a comp. Oh, you've got yeah. a comp. Uh, <laughs> Dolly, Dolly Parton's queuing up. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a queue waiting to see you. Uh, do we have time to, to give someone a treat? Oh, we do. Okay, so uh, one, one, because uh, I know there are some actual Doctor Who fans in the, in the, in the audience, aren't there? Not just people who like the program, but people who are very keen. What did you call them? Enthusiasts. 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 So, uh, Doctor Who enthusiasts. <laughs> that sounded... Yeah. That, that sounded sound enthusiastic. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you slut. Now, um, <laughs> Okay. Would you like a chance to go into the TARDIS? Seriously? <laughs> Are you making this crap up? Are you really that sad? I'm American too, and I have watched you. Oh! oh you are there, love. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about you. <laughs> I walked over there with a man with a bag on the sofa. <laughs> 
What's your name, American lady? Darcy. Darcy. All right, Darcy, come down. You can, you can. How do I do it? Well, the steps over there. <laughs> How did you get there? Life, life isn't a science fiction film. I... <laughs> She's like a Dalek. How do I get there? <laughs> come on, come on, Darcy. Good Darcy, good Darcy. <laughs> All right. Very good. Now, do you want to say hello to David? Yes. All right. Darcy, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Breton. <laughs> this is exciting, isn't it? All right, Darcy, in you go. In you go. Okay. Oh, it's water. Yeah, no, it is. Yes. All right. Uh, so, in you go now. All right. Um, are you wearing a bra? <laughs> Darcy, you stay there till we tell you to get out, okay? Okay, no peeking. You still okay? Okay. Congratulations, Darcy. <laughs> well done. You win a prize. You take long as you're in there. Very good. Well done, Matthew. It's off. Sadly, everyone else is gone. Oh. oh. Well, your friends are still here, and you get to show how clever you are with steps once more. <laughs> uh, Darcy, very good.